before Thanksgiving, so we have a realistic lunchbox video coming at you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a lunchbox video on what my oldest Trey, which is nonverbal autistic, he is eight, about to be nine. His birthday is right around the corner. And Waylon is five in kindergarten. His birthday is coming up too. Like having both boys' birthdays two weeks apart is struggle bus city for sure. They're growing up so fast. They're eating so much. Let me take you down to the counter and show you what they ate Monday through Friday for a more realistic, we're out of things in the pantry and fridge because we're ready to stock up for Thanksgiving type of lunchbox week. Good morning, happy Monday. Waylon is taking a homemade toaster strudel with the protein glaze on top. I did use some of those fall like sprinkles and they did kind of like melt into it. Anything you put in the fridge, sprinkle wise seems to have a little party overnight we've got some premier protein this is the banana flavor this is his last bottle we're going to try a strawberry flavor the banana is hard to find now they're not selling it at my sam's club speaking of banana he's got some sliced fresh banana and for lunch he's got underneath here is sandwich and this is just ham and cheese he doesn't like any mayo anything else still using the little pumpkin dash while it can before it gets retired for next season he's got some ranch veggie strips or veggie straws over there then we've got some dan and light and fit greek yogurt with the sprinkles again that had a party and then i attempted to make like a thanksgiving pilgrim's hat with a oreo thin these are the ones from trader joe's actually and then a little miniature reese cup with some icing they came out okay but you know sometimes those things on pinterest look way better than the things that you make and then we've got some fresh sliced strawberries they ate one last night they don't care what it looks like as long as it tastes good drinks he's going to take a Gatorade zero orange and an animal smoothie strawberry he brought this one home last week not this one but one home last week and didn't drink it so hopefully he drinks it today y'all know he's hit or miss with the animals for snack this is actually the same exact snack he had on Friday exact one he didn't eat it he brought it home i didn't film last week's videos for y'all these are just some little miniature peanut butter crackers from whole foods and then some go go squeeze apple organic sauce so that's what he's taking for a snack lunch and breakfast monday trey's also taking one of the homemade toaster strudels except he's gonna have some frozen blackberries y'all know that's his jam if you've been watching the lunchbox videos and then he's doing a premier protein this is the one with the oats i preach all the time if you don't want the ones with the super high protein these only have 20 but they have a little bit more good carbs in there for his lunch he's taking the exact same thing but his yogurt is the pumpkin pie flavor from dan and light and fit he likes that Waylon is not a pumpkin flavor fan. I found that out. Trey absolutely loves it. So his little sprinkles didn't have a party. They still look good. He's got the little Thanksgiving hat and then he's got a sandwich, but his has a laughing cow cheese on it and three pieces of bacon. He is a bacon laughing cow cheese fan, not a ham fan. And then he likes the lesser evil popcorn. So I put that in there for him. And then as far as his fruit goes he's going to be doing some fresh grapes on the side he's got the same drinks as Waylon, and then his snack is different because he ate his snack on friday he does not uh, waste anything he's got a sugar-free fruit cup he's got some pirates booty and then one of those little built bars these are the little mini ones we've only got a couple of the mini ones left he does like the regular size ones as well but if i'm doing a bunch of other things i just give him the little mini ones so that's what they're doing monday let's see what they actually he's home from school he ate all his breakfast he ate everything for lunch except for one side of his bread but he ate the bacon and one side so that's a win and all of his snacks Waylon drank all his banana milk half of his pop tart his homemade toaster strudel he said he ate one slice of his banana he ate all of his afternoon snack i don't know what he did to this sandwich like it looks like a hot mess he comes home with a hot mess express lunch all of his yogurt's gone and he said he didn't have time to eat his strawberries oh Good know morning about. happy taco tuesday waylon is taking the last little bag we have of the kellogg's nutrigrain kids and the strawberry blast last week when i didn't film the kids love this they love having like basic things sometimes and i'm about it sometimes we've got half of a premier protein the banana milk he calls it that's the last banana one i have it's been hard to find so i'm on the hunt for it and that's all he's taking because y'all know he's not a super big eater for breakfast 
For lunch today, it is Taco Tuesday, so they do nachos of some sort. I had a little bit of these blue corn tortilla chips left from Walmart. I divided up into both of them to get rid of it. I'm trying to use enough of what we have on hand to just get it out of here. Y'all know y'all have some things that like stay around in the pantry or the freezer or the fridge forever and you're like, you've got to go. We are evicting you. Mommy's evicting some things. So <laughs> we've got some cheese dip. This is the one from Walmart. Now Waylon informed me last week or the week before when we had the white queso, he's not a fan. Trey will eat any type of cheese, but he likes the orange kind. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'll know texture presentation, especially with Waylon. So this is the orange cheese dip from great value and it's like the stadium cheese so we'll see if they like that one we've got a maple leaf cookie from Trader Joe's a cheese stick so instead of doing a fruit option I usually do here he's been loving cheese sticks like no lie in the afternoon if I let him he would eat five cheese sticks I, I'm not exaggerating got some light and fit Dan and yogurt the vanilla kind it had a little party with the sprinkles and then I'm still obsessed with these shake your tail feathers napkins from Dollar General drinks he's doing a Nestle splash and then I'm switching things up and doing some different flavors of the Danimals he's taking the strawberry but this was a combo with the birthday cake and it's all the really cute Disney faces on it that would be so cute for themed lunch boxes later on snack this afternoon he's doing a frozen low-fat yogurt tube this is the great value one and the blueberry flavor a go go squeeze apple banana and then we've got some of the Whole Foods peanut butter organic crackers so since we only had one bag of the Nutrigrain little bite things Trey is going to be taking one of the homemade toaster strudels he loves these so he won't complain and unlike Waylon he will eat it at all and I've got some frozen peaches y'all know he loves blackberries the strawberry medley berry mix all the frozen fruit it's a texture thing for him he absolutely loves it and I have just a little bit again trying to clear things out premier protein he's taking the chocolate peanut butter today and then for lunch he has the exact same thing but I did give him some grapes because he is a fruit eater and he's got the last of the pumpkin pie yogurt that we had on hand wanted to go ahead and get rid of it the cute napkin same drinks but he's going to be taking the birthday cake flavor I know he's going to love that for his snack he's got the same exact yogurt frozen and tube he's got the same peanut butter crackers but he's going to be taking a dull no sugar fruit cup so that's what they're taking for taco tuesday let's see what they so actually just got eat. home he ate all his breakfast he was not a fan of the yellow cheese Waylon. so oh my gosh these boys are killing me like i always have to get separate things because one likes one and one doesn't like the other the struggles are real he did not touch his yellow cheese. He just ate his chips, yogurt, the grapes are gone, cookies gone, and all the snacks. Jalen ate his little Nutri-Green things. He drank the rest of his banana milk, and that's the last one. We shall see how the week goes with the strawberry. However, this boy, we've had the talks with closing this all the way, and he just does not listen, and it leaked yogurt hot mess express in the lunch box. What is my life? And then he ate all his snack for Good morning. Happy hump day. Waylon is taking another of the homemade toaster strudels. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take a banana. Mm -hmm. If y'all have watched past lunch box videos, I told him about peeling it, so we shall see. Yesterday was the last of the banana milk, so we're trying the strawberry, and the strawberry I got was the muscle milk. Couldn't find the strawberry in the Premier Protein. A lot of the flavors aren't available to us right now, so we're working with what we got. For lunch today, this week you're seeing is more like of a uh, tr realistic week, and I've been asking the boys what they want. They told me peanut butter and jelly, and they love these little slider buns by Pepperidge Farm, so I've got some peanut butter and jelly on there. One of the little pilgrim hats, these Reese cups I got from their uh, trick or treat bags. I didn't buy any. They only had a few of the little miniature ones. So this is the last of the little hats that I made. I only made like six, so we're good to go. Some fresh strawberries. Hopefully he eats some today. And then we've got the colored goldfish. Just think they kind of look fall and festive. So that's what he's got for lunch. Drinks, Nestle Splash, and then I'm going to give him the birthday cake flavor today and see if he likes it and how cute is Woody. Snack this afternoon, he's doing an applesauce and the apple strawberry flavor. I still have a ton of these Scooby-Doo Cheez-Its from the dog theme week like months ago, guys. I have a ton of these. It was that family like Mama Jamma box and we don't eat this kind of stuff, so it's taking forever to go through. And then he's going to take a frozen low-fat yogurt tube and the strawberry flavor today. Trey's taking a toaster strudel as well. He's taking the rest of the black berries from a bag I had and then we're almost done with the peaches. Premier Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter is his milk this morning. He has the same exact lunch but he has a different type of jelly. I think he's got the Crofter's Grape on there. 
Waylon's not a grape fan. I know the struggles with having two different palates. Mm. He's doing grapes, same goldfish, same drinks. He's going to do the strawberry today since he had the birthday cake yesterday. And then his snacks are some lesser evil popcorn. He's my popcorn fan. Waylon, not so much. And then we've got a sugar-free peach cup. And then he's doing the low-fat yogurt tube and the strawberry flavor today as well. Hump day. Let's see what they If you've ate. been watching, you know that Trey has been on that peanut butter and jelly anti-kick lately. Last week when I didn't film, he ate this and he ate it again this week. And that is a mom win for me. He ate all his breakfast, all his lunch, all his snack. A clean, happy plates all around for hump day for Trey. Waylon just got home. He said he liked his new strawberry milk, so that makes me happy. He ate like two or three bites of his toaster strudel. Everything in his lunchbox, he did eat a couple of strawberries, not all. And then he did not eat a snack because apparently it was someone in his classroom's birthday and they had cupcakes. So he just asked me for a snack and I said, yes, you can have your Good snack. Good morning. Please. Happy Thursday. Waylon's taking some more of that muscle milk. It is a strawberry protein milk. And then he hasn't really been eating the toaster strudels. He's like, I'm just not feeling them right now, mom. And y'all know sometimes he is not a breakfast person. So I just packed him a small banana this morning. We have some we need to go through anyway. For lunch, we're doing a hot lunch option for him. We're doing some chicken nuggets, but some special chicken nuggets. We're doing these Purdue limited edition Thanks nuggets. They're made with sweet potato seasoning, breading. Got these from Sam's Club if you watch that grocery haul. So they are shaped like little mm -hmm. drumsticks and little turkeys how cute is that so i've got that in his thermos with some sugar-free ketchup for his size we've got some zesty ranch veggie straws a cheese stick he's currently obsessed we've got two of these little jojo thin slims from trader joe's and some sliced strawberries didn't pack him a animal smoothie today because i don't think he's going to need it so we just have his usual water and then for his afternoon snack we're doing the vanilla wafers and gif to go natural peanut butter cup we do that often for their afternoon snack and then he's got a apple strawberry organic applesauce. Trey's taking the last of the homemade toaster strudels with the last of the peaches I have on hand. And I just opened a new bag of blackberries down there. Premier Protein, he's doing the cinnamon roll this morning. And then we're not doing a hot lunch for Trey. I am out of a lot of things for lunches and just in general. And I haven't done my grocery pickup yet. And he is out of broccoli. He loves broccoli and pimento cheese for hot lunches. But we're out. And I have these little mini like French toast waffles from the beginning of the lunch boxes like I said just hanging back having a little party in the freezer so we're using the last of those up and they have some peanut butter and jelly on them as little miniature peanut butter and jellies they usually like that they haven't had in a while we'll see how he does and then I have some grapes at the bottom for his fruit option he's got some of the light and fit vanilla Greek yogurt with sprinkles on top the last of the little uh Thanksgiving hat I think I told y'all we went through them but we had one stray one so I know he'll enjoy that and some lesser evil popcorn. He's gonna do a birthday cake, Danimal smoothie, and a Nestle splash water for lunchtime. And then he's having the exact same snack as Waylon, except for an applesauce. He's doing a sugar-free mandarin orange cup. Thursday, let's see what they ate. Hopefully Trey does well on this, not sure. Totally about. shocked by this. So Trey just got home, breakfast is demolished, and he crushed his lunch, like what? Yes, peanut butter and jelly's back in all forms. And <laughs> that makes me happy that he ate that today because that's another like peanut butter and jelly option rather than just bread or even those buns to put on the little waffles. They're super cute. And then he ate all his snack. Super impressed with the boys eating this week, I have to say. So he's enjoying the, uh, I wanted to say banana milk, the strawberry milk, Waylon. He ate all of his turkey themed chicken nuggets. He was like, yeah, those were good, mom. He ate almost everything in his little side thing. And he said, this is what, and Trace trying to take it right now and this is not for you son. Waylon told me that one of his friends gave him a bag of chips so he didn't eat his snack he ate the chips instead and uh <laughs> Trey's eating the remnants of whatever's left. Good morning him. happy Friday. Waylon's taking some more of that strawberry protein milk by Muscle Milk and a banana he seems to have been enjoying that eating it nothing's coming home again not a super heavy breakfast eater. For lunch today, this is what you call working with what you have. And that's been like this week. I'm picking up groceries today on Friday. We are out of like all the things for the kids especially. So I have a bunch of these like street tacos by Banderita. Love these. And for my keto peeps, if you haven't tried these or seen them in my other videos, they're zero net carbs and 20 calories. 
delicious. You can't tell the difference between these and regular flour tortillas in our opinion. And the kids eat them, so that's saying something. We made pizza tacos. So and I don't have any of the flatbreads that I get from Stonefire all the time. So I have some of these. And Waylon does not like pepperoni. He's on an anti-pepperoni kick. He used to eat it. So I've got two different types of cheeses in there with some Classico pasta sauce folded over. And I asked him if he would eat it cold. And he said he was super excited about it. For his sweet treat, these little pumpkin candies, y'all know what these are. They melted on the yogurt a couple of weeks ago. He found them in the bag and discovered them and is obsessed. He is a big fan of candy corn, apparently. Weird, because he doesn't like a lot of things, but the child likes candy corn. He, like, almost ate the entire bag in secret, and I found out later. So I put three of the pumpkins in there for him, some colored goldfish, and then some sliced strawberries. Drinks, he's going to do a lemon splash by Nestle, and then he picked out the Mike from Monsters, Inc. For a snack today, I'm going to treat them, and they're going to take a bag of the Simply Cheetos White Cheddar Puff today and he's going to do a frozen low-fat yogurt tube by great value this is the strawberry flavor for breakfast Trey's going to be taking one of these legendary foods cake style tasty pastries they have 20 grams of protein five net carbs this is the cookies and cream flavor I got this one in a strawberry one at the Las Vegas keto expo and they've had these before and they really like them now I was going to make him some elaborate breakfast this morning with like bacon and toast with some of that pumpkin protein cream cheese that we love but he's got a breakfast family thing. So we're actually going to that in like an hour and a half. And I don't know if he's going to eat that or what. But I wanted to make sure he had something. But I was like, don't make the elaborate thing because he might be eating there. You know, all the mom struggles. So he's got the toaster pastry and of course his frozen blackberries and a premier protein and the chocolate peanut butter flavor. For his lunch, he's got the same pizza tacos, but he loves turkey pepperoni. So I've got them loaded with turkey pepperoni. He's got the last of the maple leaf cookies from Trader Joe's. He loves those. He's the only one that likes those. I like them too, but I did not indulge in any of those this year. He's got some of the color goldfish. I just realized yesterday that he likes fresh sliced strawberries. He ate the rest of Whalen's from his lunchbox. So see, y'all ask me all the time, like my kids won't eat anything. Just leave something out and see if they come back to it. Trey's like that. So he has nonverbal autism if you're new and he will come back to things hours later and gobble them up that I didn't think he would ever even touch. So don't give up on them. Just keep pushing it in front of them. Don't force them, but they will, they'll try things eventually. I promise you. It was a long road with Trey, but we've come so far. Drinks, he's got a Nestle splash water, and then he's doing the strawberry with the little incredible guy on there. And then snack, he's going to do a sugar-free fruit cup, and he's also doing the Cheeto puffs, and then he's going to do the blueberry flavor of the yogurt tube. That's Friday. Let's see what they ate today. They've been on a roll. So Trey ate all of his breakfast. We also had his, like, things Thanksgiving breakfasting this morning. So he double dipped today. He wasn't a huge fan of the pizza tacos. I'm eager to see how Waylon likes them. Waylon, this was Waylon's idea. So Trey's not a fan. That's okay. We always can try and try and come back again too. I mentioned that to you guys. Parents have been asking me if they reject it the first time. Like a lot of times I'll leave food out if we're eating lunch or dinner at home and Trey will come back and actually eat it when I think he wouldn't. But for lunches at school, just try it again. He might eat it one day. And then he ate all the snack. Waylon just got home he drank his strawberry milk had his banana he ate all of his lunch so he was a fan of the pizza tacos like I said it was his idea so I, I figured he would like them so that's good to know for future reference his snack like we came home with something I didn't send so that little booger has been on like this trading kick do your kids do like bargaining and bartering and trading at school like he's about that with Pokemon cards all the things and there look he's got a Pokemon Capri Sun that he got for trading something else, I guess. I don't know. I didn't send him with anything else, but he came back with his original. That's going to do it for this lunchbox video. If you enjoyed these videos, please give it a huge thumbs up. I mentioned I did not film last week because it was the same week before on repeat. My kids are like me. They would eat the same thing every day if I let them. Chips and cheese or peanut butter and jelly, but I try to switch it up. And by doing that, we find that they like new things. So that's why I like to switch it up for you guys, for ideas, and also for my kids so they don't eat just the same thing all the time and get stuck in a rut. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you are new, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. We won't be going to school next week. They're out of school, so I won't be having a lunchbox video next week, but make sure your notification bell is clicked because I've got all the Christmas lunchboxes geared up and ready, and we're ready to go all out for the holiday lunchboxes, as you guys know. So I'd love for you to stay tuned and watch those. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving with your family and loved ones. Enjoy the holiday 
holiday and we will see y'all in a week with the Christmas themed lunch boxes. Thanks. Bye guys.